Hi, this is Bonaserios of One Happy Story and welcome to episode 3. Hi guys, uh, welcome to my spot sa here sa HQ namin. Medyo gubot din ako space. I just came from a prenup shoot here sa Dahilayan Gardens and dala namin ang mga cameras today sa office so might as well you know talk about camera. So here's the scenario. You're looking sa Instagram and you stumbled to Brandon Waffle, si Jose Villa. You know, I'm a big fan of Jose Villa. Then eventually sa Facebook you saw the wedding photos of your friend na ang galing-galing ng pagkakuha ganun then eventually na stumble ka sa www.onehappystory.com <laughs> parang ko na lang advertisement that's my website okay uh, ayun na stumble ka sa website ko and wow kita niyo mga pictures doon wow then deep inside you parang uh, how i wish um, i can also do those kind of photos take pictures of my friend or take pictures of my baby and i hope ganoon yung mga parang blur blur ang likod uh, so eventually pagka next day uy bago ka lang nagsweldo and punta ka kaagad sa sentrio punta ka dun sa colors nabiyan mo yung attendant na uh, miss ano magandang DSLR okay maganda to sir um, canon 80d Kahit mahal siya, ah, I'm sure, you know, uh, once I buy this camera, I can do those kind of photos na. So, yun, uh, bili ako niyan, Canon 8D, and, oh, yan, maganda yan, sir, kit lens, ganun. So, eventually, wow, you're so excited, you get your own, you know, you get your, the brand new camera, at saka, andun yung lens. Pagka next day, wow, taking pictures ka na ng mga, you know, halaman, mga ants, mga butterfly dito, woo, picture ng flowers ng in yung silingan na yon pictures din sa yung baby yung but eventually bakit di ko makuha yung mga parang blur blur effect why dark yung pictures ko why? bakit mag picture ako inside yung birthday party ng aking kaibigan doon sa sa locks then eventually pag picture niyo uy nanong ngit ngit man eh so eventually like 2 weeks after parang hmm, pangit naman ng mga shots ko then eventually Three weeks from now, yung yung can yung camera na stay put na lang sa camera bag, ayon nagagather na lang ng dust. Um, then eventually ayon selfie na lang, cellphone na lang dinadala. Kasi yung yung DSLR aside from uh, you don't know how to use it, uh, mabigat pagit siya. Kasi you need to bring another bag for that. Then eventually sus ang sayang naman ng investment, di ba? Pag nasayang yung camera, di ko na ginagamit. So Itong video is for those people. <laughs> anyway, uh, kidding aside, bring out your DSLR karon. Discover natin. Uh, so first things first, you only need four things to master sa yung DSLR para ma fully gamit niyo yung DSLR. What are those four things? Just remember, sawi. So S A W I yan sawi. So yun. S is for shutter. A is for aperture, uh, W is for white balance, and I is for ISO speed. So, yun, those four things lang. Just search for those buttons na you can dial these four things. Uh, fully understand na the workings of the DSLR. So, good thing I have. Ito, dala ko yung uh, 7D. This is 7D. So yung shutter usually na adjust yung shutter here. So ito yung shutter. So check niyo yung camera. So ito yung shutter. Then usually yung aperture is here. But I think yung mga medyo basic models, you need to parang press pa yung button somewhere here sa likod. Press that button then you adjust here. So yan yung aperture. Then white balance, you can search here parang sa Press me yung menu, just look for the white balance. Then ISO. Yung ISO naman, you can search here. Pero ito sa 70, merong button kasi here. ISO, then white balance. I will just make an parang 
sample video of um, what happens when you adjust these four buttons uh, yung shutter button, aperture dial, white balance yung, yung apat ano yung uh, relationship niyan so, ang shutter ina-adjust niya how long it it opens the shutter curtain inside your DSLR the time parang ina-adjust how long it exposes the film yan yung before pa yung uh, film cameras pa so ngayon is sensors na kasi so sa DSLR there's a shutter curtain so depende kung sample 1 second lang yung shutter so i-open yung shutter curtain um, I don't know if that's millisecond I know so it opens like 1 second poses the uh, sensor ng 1 second and closes so yan yung purpose ng shutter curtain from that effect uh, wherein it controls yung shutter curtain yung controls the light that passes through and exposes the, the sensor you use the sh higher shutter if you want to take pictures na for example you, uh, you're taking pictures of action shots for example nagli lay up na basketball player and you want na super super still talaga siya in mid air so you use a higher shutter for that uh, para hindi blur but if you're going to use low shutter, low shutter numbers like uh, 10, 60, or 30, somewhere going down uh, na number, uh, ayan na yung there will be parang motion na. Kasi medyo longer yung pag, pag expose ng sensor. Kasi medyo matagal yung pag close ng shutter. That's why. You use like for fireworks, you use like uh, 10 na shutter speed. Yan. Or yung mga, kita nyo mga shots na yung trailing lights, like headlight ng car is, is a street along the street. I hope na uh, na imagine nyo yun. So ayun, for night shots, uh, you use like slow shutters, like I mean low number na shutter. But kung if you're using low shutter speed, uh, you need to have a parang something that will stable your camera. So that's why you have a tripod. Ayan, mga magaling for slow shutters yan silang Gian Duterte, silang Matoy, mga magaling for landscapes. Ganun, mga landscape photographers. Then after shutter speed, we have aperture. So it controls the yung parang opening ng lens. Uh, if you're taking pictures ng landscape, so you use a higher number sa aperture. Usually we term it like f-stop ganun so sample if you're taking photos of you know booking uh you use like f8 and f8 and above ayan para sharp yung foreground and background ng subject ayan so mga landscape photographers tend to use yung mga uh, higher number of aperture so if you're using higher aperture kasi yung iris ng lens medyo super close na so medyo maliit lang yung light na pumapasok that's why you use a uh, slow shutter for that yan yung parang uh, relationship ng aperture at saka shutter the higher the number the aperture you use the parang bumababa yung shutter the higher the shutter bumababa rin yung number ng aperture yan for uh, for landscape photographers they use usually yung highest number talaga ng aperture yan then they use like a very super slow na, na shutter so that's why they invest on good tripods at saka mga remote ganun but for me because i'm a portrait photographer usually i use prime lenses yun uh, kung landscape photographers they use the you know wide angle lenses ako naman is yung mga prime lenses usually so right now i have the 50 1.4 yan so usually Ako naman, me and my team usually uses F2. Yan. We rarely use yung pinaka lowest number. Example, like 1.4, 1.8. Ano? We commonly use like 95% sa aming uh, coverages. We use F2. You know, first tip na ako when you uh, buy a DSLR, buy a 50mm 1.8. Uh, what makes a good photo is starting from a uh, yung lens. Example, if you're uh, if you love to take pictures of portraits, 
the first thing that you need to buy is yung pang portrait lens. So usually the 50 mm prime lens, yan yung pinaka first bilhin nyo. Uh, kasi when you use the prime lens, then parang mag-level up talaga yung kuha niyo. Parang diyan yung makukuha yung parang bokeh, uh, sino pa yung kuha? Si digital rev, bokeh issues, you know. Uh, yung parang blur yung foreground, blur, blur yung background, and you take pictures sa yung subject. Depende rin, if sample, landscape lang kayo, landscape na yung trip yung mag-picture, yung kit lens is already good enough. Yun rin I jokingly say to my friends na nag-buy ng DSLR. Once you buy a DSLR, uh, cursed ka na. Cursed to upgrade. Kasi when, when it comes to photography, as in like endless yung upgrades people ask me ano yung maganda na camera to buy i ask them what's the purpose why they're going to buy the camera so sample uh, they just want to take pic um, they want to you know take landscape landscape pictures ganun ganun and parang gusto nila mag level up when it comes to photography ayun maybe yan i can okay you can buy a DSLR But if you're planning na you're buying a DSLR just for, you know, uh, selfie, ganun, ganun, I suggest you, you just buy a Huawei P30, ganun. Super nice na, yung mga cellphones ngayon, mga latest cellphones, can mimic na yung mga kuha ng mga DSLR shots. Uh, I rarely bring my camera with me during, you know, mga trip-trip uh, na nalakad because, you know, mabigat yung DSLR. And especially ngayon yung mga cellphones, you know, you just want to take a good picture, good selfie picture, then upload sa you know Facebook. So, so yun. I I usually ask them what's the what's their purpose, why they're going to buy a DSLR. So if your purpose if is you know take uh, your photo photography uh, passion uh, up a notch. You can buy a DSLR or uh, mirrorless na cameras, but if you're you're just going to use the DSLR for selfie, wag na lang buy a cell phone, much better pa and handy. Uh, white balance naman, so if you go higher na number, nagiging warmer yung tone ng photo, and if you go lower, uh, nagiging cooler yung shot. So usual na mga uh, things na mga situations wherein you can adjust the white balance. Sample your outdoors and medyo super bright yung light. So you just put like Usually I set my white balance to 5000 kasi uh, madali lang i-adjust uh, post production. Sample super bright na yung light and super medyo orange na yung you know, medyo warm na yung yung color ng skin tones, medyo yellowish na. So I just tone down like go 4,500. Then if sample you're inside a your reception hall and yung light, yung lighting na dun is super warm kasi may chandelier, ayan, yellow, yellowish yung light. When you're inside that, ganun yung light source, you go down like 3,7, ganun, 2,5 or maybe some, somewhere that para lang to, uh, to balance out yung yellow. Sample naman, it, it depends na rin if it's your freedom na rin kasi sa white balance. Sample, like ako, when I take pictures sa sunset, yellow, sorry, orange na and red na yung color ng sunset. And I want pag it bump it out pag it yung color, tinataasan ko pa yung, yung white balance like, you know, 7,000, 8,000 para medyo super orange and red talaga yung skies. And yung ISO speed naman, if you use the higher ISO, yan yung sensitivity ng sensor sa light. Uh, parang yan yung, yung ISO kasi, yan yung counterpart ng before yung film pa, mayroong as ASA 400, ASA 200, gano'n. So if you use this ISO 100, 200, maganda yun for outdoor shots. Kasi very, very clear, very clean yung picture. Usually, when you use the higher ISO, hindi na maganda yung lighting condition. Sample, sample you're inside a yun, reception hall ulit. Uh, or uh, medyo dark yung area. You bump up yung ISO. So, yan lang yung difference why uh, mahal yung mga full frame. At saka yung... We call it like crop sensor, yung mga entry level 
DSLR kasi yung mga full frame, yung mga pang professional cameras mas uh, sample when you when we use like yung mga higher ISO na talaga, medyo uh, clean pa yung photo. Um, while yung mga entry level when you go like 3200 na ISO, merong mga noise green sa picture. So yung sa yung mga full frame naman hindi pa. So we can still use like 5000 ISO. We can still use um, take pictures yung mga low low light situation ganun. Uh, so yung mga crop yung mga crop sensor, yung mga entry level medyo nagigray na yung picture if you go higher than ISO 800. Isa yun sa mga factors why medyo mahal yung full frame kesa yung sa mga entry level DSLRs. I hope it doesn't hinder you when taking pictures. Kasi when you hear me na yeah, medyo, medyo grainy na yung uh, kung crop sensor, I will not take picture. No. Kasi there's art in grain. Sa akin naman, I, I tell my crew na you know, there's no limit. Uh, so if they can use higher ISO but as long as they get the shot yun yung important forget the technical side of the DSLR then uh, as long as you capture the moment yun, yun yung uh, policy ko here sa aming company maybe in the long run maybe I can do like live shooting you know, video some other some other day to wrap up this video lang shutter A aperture W for white balance I is for ISO speed so look for these four functions in your camera and just play around but uh, if you have question just you know comment na lang down below this video and I will answer you back um, maybe the next video or I, I, I'll chat you anyway this is Bonaceres again and thank you for watching this video please do subscribe to YouTube channel namin to follow us on Facebook and also in Instagram. Check it out sa links below here. Bye. See ya. God bless.